Oh yeah, I'm uh, Harry Fokker. I run T-shirt Terrace. It's a South African label. We do satirical T-shirts, um, a lot of pop culture references. Um, yeah, it's a local initiative, local label. I'm um, working with local designers, local suppliers. Um, we generally have a bit of fun ripping things off, spoofing stuff. We got things like the classic uh, I Kill Kenny. Uh, that one we had going for quite a while. Um, interesting story behind this design. Um, someone put an image on a blog and that image has been copied off the blog and I Killed Kenny can be bought basically anywhere in the world on any sort of shirt um, through eBay, Amazon, etc. It's been madly spoofed. So that's, uh, probably flattery is a, <laughs> yeah, is a it's, it's a form of flattery, but it's also, yeah, pretty annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I work with with designers, so these are all my these are all my creations. These are my designs. These are my ideas. My brainstorms. Oh uh, yeah, some local stuff as well. It's obviously important that we do reference you know local culture. So here's our old school instead of old school with you know the infamous wagon. This is also a cool image. Another positive spin. You know, not always trying to be you know negative and scathing. This is quite a cool design. These, I mean, the ideas, they come to me. There's not much I can do about it, you know. I'm not gonna write them down and put them in a box for posterity, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my work out there. This is my work, this is what I enjoy doing. Um, it just, it, it gives me, look, it's a, it's a sense of fulfillment. You know, I'm, I'm a creative, I'm a writer, I'm an artist. I'm not necessarily a designer, but I'm conceptual. You know? So I'm always, obviously, creating things inside my mind. I'm always like, the ideas always coming to me. I think of it as like, you know, the, the universe throws me a couple of giant curveballs, you know, and I, I keep on catching them. Sometimes in my teeth, by the skin of my teeth, but I keep on catching them, you know. And uh, I just want to get my work out there, you know. And some of my work, as I say, is controversial. Some of my ideas are, you know, my orientation is like left of center. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a guy who's always questioning things and, and challenging things, you know. I, I don't really want to be, you know, just part of the massive and stand out. I want to do something, I want to say something different. So this is an expression of, of obviously where I'm going with my art, you know, and it will change over time. I'm a pirate, I'm a known felon, I'm a terrorist and a pirate. There's our Pirate Bay design. Um, if you get that image and, and you're walking in the street and someone's wearing a Pirate Bay t-shirt, we've made it fly like the flag, so fly the flag of piracy. Be proud of what you do, don't mind it. <laughs> if a bandit is there, you know, we use it. <laughs> This is obviously what I want to align my brand with, is obviously creative projects, independence, we're going out there and doing something different. So I thought I could, I could, definitely, I could definitely help, um, not necessarily only get my brand out there, but obviously assist, you know, the film genius and, and, and you know, getting some pretty cool threads onto these actors and, and actually getting, you know, a standout, uh, a standout wardrobe, which is something, something different. I mean, you don't necessarily want to dress them all in Nike. What's the point? You know, you actually want to stand out shirts. You know? My uh, my take on the on popular culture, township culture. Here's our Scopas T-shirt. Now Scopas is a coloured maze. It's the also known as Amma Kip Kip. While well, we're doing Scopas popcorn, and we'll definitely try and get it out there. Um, People who recognize it, get it, and enjoy it. And it's in the Scorpus colors, so yeah. The next time you see this guy anywhere on the street, that's our Scorpus Maniki. Also written as okay. So when you start seeing these stickers rock up, you know it's yeah. T-shirt terrorist in disguise. Yeah, um, bananas and pajamas. The great thing about bananas and pajamas is they always wore blue and white striped pajamas. So we called it what it was. Those were convict clothes, and we had them breaking out of jail, you know, escaping the chain gang. <laughs> Well, I think what you have to do is you, you simply have to keep going. You've got to believe in your art and you've got to get it out there. And it's going to be a challenge and people are going to, you know, try and uh, not necessarily get in your way, but it's going to be challenging. So you just have to follow the art, you know, and it'll, if it's real and if you believe in it, it will work. And yeah, you'll get the support you need from people who believe in what you do. So keep going.